So in this video, I wanted to talk about my favorite beginner fountain pens. And I would define that as something that is easy to find, affordable, and reliable. And I think $5 is pretty much the right mark. Some of these are six, some of them are three, but I would say right around $5 is the way to go. And in the class, I would give you, I would put in the Pilot Varsity, Platinum Preppy, Zebra V301, Monomi Alika, Zebra Sensations, and the Pilot Petit one. Uh, these are, for me, the right pens because they're pretty easy to find. You could buy them from a pen seller. Some of them can be purchased from a big box store. Uh, so generally beginner friendly. Obviously in the price class, you have pens like those from Hero and Jin Hao and Wing Sung and the sort of Chinese fountain pens. Those are easy to find if you know what you're looking for, but I wouldn't call them beginner friendly because they might not be obvious to look for and they're not really sold at many pen stores. Online you can find them, but uh, these I think are more appropriate. So just to cut to the chase, I know some people, if you're a beginner, you may not want to geek out for 10 minutes about fountain pens. I would say definitely you want to look for the Platinum Preppy or the Pilot Varsity. Both these pens are in the two to three dollar range they're hyper reliable. They're a lot of fun to use. The Varsity would probably be the first beginner fountain pen you find, and it's a great student pen. Just with it's writes every time. It has a large ink capacity. It's uh, under three dollars most of the time, and you could find it almost anywhere. And uh, just a great reliable pen. The Preppy I actually prefer, is it looks a lot cooler, and uh, I think it's a little bit more versatile. You can put it into an eyedropper, turn it into an eyedropper, like fill this back area with ink. And I did a video on that. So I think this one is the one to get if you're doing your research, but cannot go wrong with the varsity. So let's sort of run into the pens and do a little bit of a deeper dive. Start off with the Petit one. This is a really small pen. You can see it relative to the other ones. It's a good inch and a half, two inches shorter. And it only works realistically. You can only write with it when it's posted like that. When it's posted, it's a small but reasonably sized pen. Uh, you can, here's it relative to an unposted normal size pen. Pretty similar. Obviously the posting introduced this like seam here and you have to contend with the clip, but overall it's a good size pen when it's posted. You'll see that a lot of pens in this class use a folded steel nib. This is what that looks like. It's literally steel that's been folded. And that is desirable in this class because these nibs are very sturdy. They're cheap to produce, but you don't really care about that. It was all these pens are under $10, but it, they're very sturdy. Uh, the Preppy does not use that. It uses a, I mean, it uses a steel folded nib, but not like this sort of flared standardized design. It uses a modular platinum nib, which platinum puts on all their pens that are under about 50 or so dollars. So this is definitely a better nib system, but the uh, folded nibs are generally what you're gonna see. And they're completely fine, even if they don't look great. Back to the Petit One, you can see only works posted, which is a little bit annoying. And then it has a very small cartridge in it. So it's a proprietary cartridge for this pen. Uh, it's different than a standard uh, Pilot proprietary cartridge. That's another downside. An upside of this pen is that, again, it's cheap and that you can convert it to an eyedropper if you were to remove the cartridge and fill this area with ink. I've done a video on that, on eyedropper conversions in general, so you can check that out to learn more. I'm not in love with the small size. It just, it doesn't help me in any way. Obviously it's compact, but unless you are looking to throw something in your bag or put something in your pocket, this doesn't really help you. So that's not a selling point for me. The Zebra Sensations is probably the least popular and uh, pen in the class. You don't see these too much, but it's completely adequate pen. It is not refillable. It is a disposable fountain pen, which is a downside. It uses that folded nib, which works out well, but it uh, is obviously, or maybe not obvious, but to me, it's a bit ugly and a bit plain. It doesn't have any inscriptions or anything like that on it. And then the uh, entire pen is plastic, which is fine, kind of expected in this class. It's got a 
good clip and you know all the fit and finish is is fine so that's that's nice but uh really nothing too special about the pen the monami olika is very similar to the zebra pen but it is a cartridge pen so you can open it up and put in an olika cartridge i believe it's an international standard cartridge which is kind of like the normal main cartridge which is cool this one has a rubberized grip and you can see a very similar folded nib this one has a little bit of kind of etching on it and you know the size fine both of which are nice the zebra is a real outlier here because it uses a metal body it does have some fit and finish issues like this really i would say cheap looking grip section the whole nib and feed area looks really odd has a sort of conical feed a hooded nib this plastic piece here uh, the hood which looks like it's made of electrical tape it's really just a i would say kind of an oddball pen and then the metal is really nice for some people they really see that as an advantage uh it doesn't really do anything for me you know it's a sturdier pen i guess but you don't really crack plastic barrel pens anyway and this one has plastic at the joints so you don't really get too much advantage from that and it being plastic means you cannot convert this to an eyedropper which your ink could corrode this metal. So that option is out. This one is just for reference, a converter, or I guess it doesn't sell, use a converter, but it is a cartridge based pen. So it is refillable, which is nice. The cap on this doesn't go on too well. It has this really kind of short feeling action that I don't, don't really like, but it has a good clip. The Varsity is sort of the most popular pen in the class very affordable, incredibly reliable. You can cap one of these and put it away for six months, pick it up and start writing with it. And it'll be like, you'd never put it down. It's just a really solid pen. This one's not technically refillable. It's called a disposable pen, but I've done a video on how you could pull the whole nib system out, fill it, and then start using it again. So not, it is technically a disposable pen, but between us, it is refillable. Not really something a beginner would do. Again, folded nib, slightly different look, a little longer than the other ones, but uh, not aesthetically a very nice pen, but very reliable and easy to use. My favorite pen in the class is the Platinum Preppy, particularly this model of the Platinum Preppy Crystal, which is all clear. It has a really nice clip, uh, cap rather. You can see it has a blind cap here to keep everything inside nice and moist. Uh, some of them other some of the other ones will have it some won't it's just a nice to see it in there and know it exists uh you can see some of them have something like that but not this upgraded spring-loaded version everything is clear which is very cool this one can be converted as an eyedropper again check out my video and it uses the standard platinum cartridge which is great you can put a platinum converter in here technically but the converter costs more than the pen, so it doesn't really make sense. This pen is cool too, because it comes in different sizes. This is the fine, the 0.3 millimeter. I really like it in the 0.5 millimeter, the medium as well, because that one writes like a broad, which is typically not something you see in beginner fountain pens. I did some writing samples and I'll run through them quickly, just uh, so you see it in action. But I would say that all of them are good writers except for the Olika. I've just had a lot of problems with that pen and I would not recommend it. So this is the Petit One. Very easy writer, reliable, tough, no problems at all with this one. It uses Pilot's Ink, which is just like super easy to use, great for beginners. Z301, sorry, the V301. I don't like the nib on this one. It is scratchy to me but it lays down a fair amount of ink when it is working. It's a nice medium, uh, but I find it pretty, pretty unpleasant to write with. I've had problems with these nibs. Some people online have said they have problems, uh, particularly commenters. Other people say it's great and they use it every day. So to me, that just says there's some inconsistencies. Uh, I don't really see a selling point for this pen, except if you need something metal. The Zensations is a solid pen no problems with this one reliable 
Uh, I have not, uh, sorry, is this the, yeah, sorry, this is the Monami Alika. They, these things really do look alike. We'll do the Alika. The Alika is far away the worst rider in the bunch. This one I think is just a straight up lemon and I've had a lot of problems with it. I've had other ones that aren't as bad, but this one requires a lot of pressure. And when you're applying a lot of pressure, it's right okay but this is more pressure than I feel comfortable riding with. So technically, I think you could tweak this, get a little bit more out of here, but that's not something I'd want a beginner to do. So based on how poor this thing has been riding for me and how the other ones in the past have been just kind of okay, I would say avoid this pen altogether. Now onto the Zebra. Sensations is a really nice rider. Puts down more ink than the other ones in this class, uh, except for the Platinum Medium, which we'll get into in a minute. Smooth rider, very reliable, and I've had really good experience with this pen, uh, but not refillable and doesn't have really any advantages over some of the other pens in the class. So while it's good and I like it, I don't really see any reasons to hunt this one down, except for maybe it having a slightly better clip than the other ones. Uh, plus, I just think the pen is rather ugly. So while it gets a solid B, it's kind of just like, I don't see why I would buy this one when I could buy one of the best pens in the class, which is going to be the Platinum and the Pilot Varsity. The Varsity, like I said, is very reliable. It's a great student pen. It is smoother than the other pens. The Zebra in particular comes in black, blue, red, green, some more options. It is technically refillable if you want to do that. And it's just a better learning pen or beginner pen for me than anything we've discussed in this pile. It's also the easiest pen to find, which is why it's very it's a very good recommendation for beginners. The Platinum Preppy, I would say if you are an advanced user looking for a beginner pen, this is definitely the way to go, but that's not what the video is about. This is good pen for beginners because it lets them get acclimated to the cartridge system, technically converter if you want. It is a reliable writer and also comes in different sizes. Sold in an extra fine, fine, and a medium. This is the 0.3 millimeter fine, which is a really great everyday pen. Really reliable, relatively smooth, and it doesn't put down a troubling amount of ink. So you could use it on almost any paper and people will be happy with it. Plus it has that removable nib in case you ever want to just like as a beginner, remove the nib and give it a cleaning or just kind of see how your pen works. Just from that standpoint, especially being in the crystal, you can see like, oh, here's my cap and it has a little spring in there. And here's a little inside cap that keeps the nib wet. Here's the feed. You could open this up if you want to convert to an eyedropper. Just from a beginner or learning experience, I think this pen just really has a lot of advantages over the rest of the pack. And then it's really nice because it's sold in those other sizes. The fine works great. And then here it is in the medium. You'll see that it is a 0.5 millimeter. And these nibs can be swapped, which is a, a cool thing about this pen. Just slide it off. And the medium is really more like a broad to me. This thing puts down a lot of ink. This is like wetter than a lot of European mediums. And you can see this one is converted for an eyedropper to an eyedropper. You see the difference. Very cool, very easy to do and puts down a really wet line. Here's the two next to each other. And this is the platinum blue or blue black, probably platinum blue black versus a custom sort of ink. This is the uh, Pilot Konpeki, which is sort of like, if you're buying your first ink, that might be the one you get. And here's the writing samples. You can pause it if you want to inspect them, but that should pretty much cover it. If you're looking for the best beginner fountain pens, I would far and away recommend Pilot Varsity or Platinum Preppy. Preppy in particular in the fine, I think is really just a user-friendly way to go. These other pens, Zensations, solid, but unremarkable. The Petite, I, I don't really see an advantage to it being small. 
So it just kind of complicates things with that proprietary cartridge. Avoid the Olika, despite Monomy generally being a solid pen maker. And the Zebra is just sort of kind of quirky and I don't really see the metal as being too much of an advantage. So I would skip it. So that about covers it. Thanks for watching.